Hey everyone, it's me Tiger. Welcome back to my channel. We are here yet again with another speed build video on Sedona Island. Today we'll be giving Boomer an auto shop to go along with his house over by the Haunted Lake. I think this build ended up being so cute and I hope that you'll stay until the end to see the final product. Before we get started with building the auto shop, I did want to take a second to talk about today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Max World for sponsoring today's video. Max World is a family-friendly 3D mobile game where you play as an adventurous dog named Mac who is on a mission to collect chicken legs that are scattered throughout a mysterious mansion. Each room of Mac's world presents a different challenge. Solve these puzzles to reveal hidden keys that will help progress your gameplay. You can also earn bonus stars by finding secret puzzle pieces and beating the level's goal time. Adopt pet companions to keep Mac company, including Draco, Bacon, Leo, Atlas, and my personal favorite a whale acorn which is yes a whale and a unicorn mixed they are all so cute though you can also style mac with different fun costumes including pajamas chef superhero zombie and more the controls in max world are very simple and intuitive with integrated controller support and the game also offers cloud save support as well you can download max world on the ios app store and google play store right now using the link below for 99 cents and if you redeem my special promo code TIGER, you can unlock an adorable tiger costume for Mac that I helped design myself. Seriously, it's so cool. Definitely check out this game if you have the chance. Again, all of the links are down below in the description. Thank you again so much to Max World for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. This is the area where we'll be building Boomer's Auto Shop. You can see that it is a very limited and small spot on my island. It wasn't a lot to work with, but enough to make a really cool shop. I started this build how I start all of my builds by mapping out an area with the end game dirt pathway to put custom designs on top of later. This is going to be where the auto shop sits and I wanted to create a driveway coming from the road so it looks like you can pull your car in and get Boomer to fix it for you. I use the sidewalk and road custom designs that I've been using all over my island to go over the dirt and form this little driveway vision. If you'd like to download any of the custom designs that I use on Sedona Island. They are listed down below in the description. I'm also playing some good old lo-fi by Demon Gummies. All of their info and links are also down below, so check them out if you like today's music. Now that the pathways were settled, it was time to start constructing the actual auto shop. For this building, I wanted to use a lot of the new roofed items that have a lot of different colors and textures. I thought these items did a great job giving that old worn down type of look. I used the medieval building side, retro transportation stops, and a storefront item as well. I just love how they added these into the game. It gives a lot of different ways to create more realistic buildings on your island. I'm honestly not very familiar with cars or mechanics or any of that stuff so you know if you are please don't judge by the items that I chose to use in this build because some of them are probably not very practical or realistic I just thought that they looked very cute I tried to use like a bunch of gas related items I also put a um, utility sink so you could wash your hands I'm assuming you would do that at an auto shop and of course I use the damaged mini car to put right in the driveway so it looked like there was a broken down car that boomer was currently working on at the auto shop and again i just went around and kind of crowded the area with random like utility type items that i thought would make sense and i also included a vacuum cleaner because i don't know maybe he's detailing and cleaning cars over here on the other side of the auto shop i wanted to give him sort of a yard area since he didn't really get a yard because the auto shop is just right next to his house and all the other villagers have a little customized hangout area so I didn't want to leave Boomer out of that so that's what we're doing right now there was also the rock um, that goes out into the ocean right behind this so I thought it would be perfect I 
down this brown brick pathway and started landscaping the area with shrubs and trees and flowers and in this part I am laying down some custom designs to add some fencing to give it that yard kind of look even though it's not necessarily connected to his house. Now I just started to decorate with more utility type items because I just feel like Boomer is the type of guy to let his work life kind of intertwine with his personal life. So, you know, he's just one of those guys who likes to work. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I just used like a bunch of random items like cardboard, canisters, stuff like that to kind of be littered around his yard because maybe there's not room at his auto shop and he just kind of, you know, lets his personal life and his work life kind of intertwine. I also used that giant tank item back here because I just thought it was really cool. I don't know if it makes sense, but it looked like just really cool and very tall. So I used it. And then we also made him a little seating area over here on the rock so he could sit down, drink some water and look over into the ocean, all of that good stuff. And that was practically the entire area. I did go in front of the shop and add a truck item so it looked like maybe they were leaving the auto shop. And now we were ready for the final walkthrough. So this is Boomer's house and his very brand new auto shop. I love the way that this turned out. I think the colors and just the overall vibe fits Boomer so, so much. And I could just imagine him working here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a cool like camera angle for you guys right here. Yes, look at that, that diagonal street view. It looks so satisfying. We also have his yard over here with his little chill space on the rock. And that is pretty much the entire build. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you like it. If you have any suggestions for the build, any specific items that you think would look better or would just look good here in general, please let me know down below in the comments because yeah, I was kind of stuck after a while of like, what do I put here? So yeah, I would love to hear your um, ideas. That is everything I have for you in today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you would like to support my channel and see future videos. I hope that you guys all like Boomer's new auto shop. I honestly love it and I can't wait to see Boomer wandering around this area. Thank you to Maxworld for sponsoring today's video. You can purchase the game on the iOS app store and Google Play store through the links down below and don't forget to use my special promo code tiger for a cute tiger costume thanks again for watching i will see you guys later bye